I'm Sophie, the founder of Oh My Nosh, and I write recipes tailored to the different stages of the menstrual cycle. I have partnered with Time of the Month to bring you a happy hormones recipe. And today I'm making a sweet potato and spinach curry served with rice and a really, really easy flatbread to mop up all of that delicious sauce. It works across all stages of the menstrual cycle using different ingredients that can balance out hormones and just, you know, make you feel happier. While curry is bubbling away, I thought I would talk to you about the different ingredients and why I've used them, as well as a little bit more about myself. A lot of these ingredients can be used across all the stages of the menstrual cycle. So there's menstruation, there's follicular, there's ovulation, and there's luteal. Sweet potato is a really good one because it's really fibrous. Rice is also really good for fiber, but it also contains zinc, and zinc can help reduce pain along with magnesium. When you're in the luteal or menstruation phase, it can be very painful. I didn't add turmeric today, but if you're in that build up to your period, I really recommend adding turmeric because it's that anti-inflammatory. So if you're on your period, then it's also really good. So for the flatbreads, I use yogurt. You can use kefir and it is really good for gut health and being able to balance your hormones, but it's high in protein. It has iron, it has B vitamins, and it has magnesium. So just to tell you a little bit about me, I was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome in, God, five years ago, six years ago, something like that. And I decided to come off the pill after 10 years of being on it in 2020. Terrible timing. Um, but I really wanted to learn more about my hormones and just about what was going on in there. Um, and obviously during the pandemic, had quite a lot of time on my hands. So I did a course called Female Health and I learned all about hormones, how understudied the area is. And I also um, did a very basic nutrition course. Um, and I think there's a lot of correlation between food and energy and hormones and how you feel. But yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Let's get back to cooking. That is tasty.